Well, Alistair to joins me now live from uh, Jerusalem. Uh, Ali, how significant is this revelation about chemical weapons? Well, the Israeli president, Isaac Herzog, uh, sits above party politics in Israel. He's not a member of the war cabinet, for example, and over this past year with the controversy over judicial reforms, he's been pretty critical of the Israeli Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu. But um, this was evidence, he says, uh, that instructions on how to build a chemical weapon were found on the bodies of Hamas fighters discovered in Kibbutz Beri, which was one of the worst hit kibbutz near the Gaza border. We cannot verify those claims uh, ourselves, although I have put them to chemical weapons experts that I know, and some of them have said that in terms of if you know these ingredients were put together to make a chemical weapon, then it could make a viable chemical weapon. It, whether or not this proves any kind of link between Hamas and Al-Qaeda, or Hamas and Islamic State, I would be sceptical on that because of some of the documents we've seen don't necessarily prove that. But what it does in the Israeli eyes show is, again, just what sort of intent the Hamas fighters had when they came over that border. And it takes what they did, potentially, a step further, a step into what could have been a very, very dangerous situation. What they did do is they massacred and murdered many Israelis and other nationalities, and they took a lot of them hostages in you know, the biggest terrorist attack this country has ever seen and in the most grim and macabre fashion. But this would be you know, a significant escalation in what we knew so far, in so much that if their intent or their desire was to try and build chemical weapons at some stage, well, that puts a whole new detail, uh, a whole new slant on what Hamas had been planning for some time. So as I say, we, as Sky News, can't independently verify these, but President Isaac Herzog positions himself as an international statesman. He generally rises above Israeli politics, and he's presented these documents to us and shown them to us in that interview that you saw.